So we got a 2004 Beetle. This will work for the Jetta and also older model Beetles and a little bit newer up to probably 2008. Got a vacuum leak, which is probably the primary cause for no brakes. The brake pedal is hard. And we're going to show you how to check for that vacuum leak, find it, and we're going to tear this apart and check on that brake booster line. And I'm going to show you a real quick way to check for them. It is dangerous, so have a hose available and or fire extinguisher. So the way you have to do this, make sure you got your water hose, make sure your engine is running. What we're going to be using is carburetor cleaner. We're going to be using this right here. It costs about six bucks. That's all you need to do to um, test for your vacuum leaks. So it costs about six bucks. And make sure the engine is cold. It's not hot because it's very flammable and could be explosive if it gets in the wrong vacuum line. So now we got the car running and we take off the cover. doing is spraying it every vacuum connection every fitting every little piece that you got in there keys everything you listen for the engine rpm to go up go on one at a time See our leak is down there. We mm hear -hmm. the RPM rev up because of the, the fumes getting into the line. Let it dry, you don't want to oversaturate it. This vacuum leak is way back in the back. It's on the booster cylinder, I already checked earlier on the brake booster and that's what's giving this car a rough idle and the uh, brake cylinder not to be able to engage it has a hard brake system hard brake pedal no brake so that's how you check just let this move and then go back to a rough idle Show you where it's at and see if we can't fix that booster line see if that fixes the brakes or if it's a master cylinder for the brake cylinder now to tear it apart Alright, so now that I found the problem, I'm going to show you guys what it is. I'm going to go in here, way down here next to the reservoir for the brakes. So I'm going to get this in here. Damn, can't even get a light on it. Where the camera in there? Okay, there we go. Can okay, you see your master cylinder? There's a plug that comes out. That vacuum line is hanging off below it. Um, I can't point and hold the flashlight at the same time, but if you guys can see that, the back end of that vacuum line is cracked where it's supposed to go on and it's sitting to the right of where it's supposed to plug into the brake cylinder. That would cause your vacuum issue, rough idle, and in this vehicle it would be hard brakes and a rough idle, the vacuum check engine light. So what I'm going to do, instead of trying to replace that line, which is about 106 bucks, because it has a manifold on it, and it has a T in the middle of it, a pretty long line, I'm going to epoxy the back of that line and throw a hose clamp on there, and that should fix the problem. That's what I'm going to do right now. So now i got a hose clamp. I'll show you guys if I can get this camera in here. Hose clamp on that fitting right there. 
a little bit of epoxy on the black on the back because it was split. So hopefully that fixes the problem. So I'm gonna see if the master cylinder is good or not. But there was no brake pressure at all prior because of the vacuum leak. Then we'll put this thing back together and we'll test it out. All right, now the back of the hose is epoxy. We're gonna throw this together real quick. Make sure you line this up on the inside up here. Alright, so we're going to start it up now. The epoxy's dry, the hose clamp's on, everything's back together. We'll see if we got rid of that rough idle. Alright, as you guys can see, um, the rough idle's gone. The vacuum looks gone. We'll take it for a test drive. The brakes should be fixed. If not, it would be the master cylinder. The vacuum leak was to the brake booster. To the brake. And we're good. Alright, so we took it for a test drive. The brakes are fixed. We now have brake pressure. So don't go spending money on a master cylinder when it's not the master cylinder. Usually these cars, it's a vacuum leak. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.